What is going on guys? So I just got the latest update for the Samsung One UI Android 5 from T-Mobile. I basically been playing with it for a couple of days now and I want to give you my update some of the features that I like about them and just point out a couple of things that you can do if you happen to have some issues after the update let's go check it out welcome back to your channel and if you have a Galaxy Note phone or a Galaxy watch consider subscribing because we're always making content about them so I got mine a couple of days ago I went ahead and I installed it everything went pretty smooth I didn't have any issues installing it it, it did took several minutes to do the installation uh, one of the things that they always mention is that you should always have enough battery in your phone at least 70 percent just in case all right so we got the Galaxy Note 8 with the Oreo and we got the Galaxy Note 9 with the Pi update First thing that I noticed with the icons, as you can see, they changed a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan, but I, they're new, so you know I'm kind of liking it. Just overall, I used to, I do used to like how the old style was. It, it kind of just looked more professional for for Samsung, and that's one of the things that I like. But one of the things that does bother me is that for the Samsung apps, they have updated their their icons, so it looks kind of more like the Pixel. But if you look at the other apps, they haven't updated them. So now you got it's not looking uniform when you look across as it does with the Oreo OS as you can see everything across but of course we're probably going to have the apps are going to update their icons later in the future so hopefully this is something they're going to fix bringing down the notification as you can see uh, with the Pi update it just looks more modern to me it just looks more user friendly it's easier to it's just overall easier to read the the notifications as as it displays them now if we look at the quick setting panel again one hand single hand is easier to reach the the settings the buttons it does change a little bit to me it's just easier to find easier to read more user friendly definitely i do like the the new design on the pi update uh, if you want to change the brightness it's right on the bottom so it's going to be easier to reach everything else the functionality doesn't change much if you want to change the settings you just uh, hold press one of them and it's going to give you the options so you can select them as you, as you can see it's basically going to be the same it's just some things are going to change around there will be some new things here and there i'm not going to cover all of them just going over over them at the high level a couple of things that i do want to mention some of the new features that got my attention and things that i'm liking i'm going to scroll to the right hand side at night mode this is one of those features that i do like especially at night when i'm basically scrolling through most of the apps that are from samsung will be compatible with night mode don't expect every single app to be fully compatible as you're using this uh, over time and, and again over time this is going to change uh, you're going to be able to to see some of the apps or some of the browsers continue displaying the night, night mode as you go another thing so the navigation bar if you have this enabled uh, which is probably going to be like that if you can see the buttons they change a little bit the digitized buttons or just the display uh, it's still going to have your multi-window button on one side and you got your home button and your back back touch button but if you want to have that new gesture control what you do is you want to come up here and disable the navigation bar and you're going to have this gesture control and i really like it i mean at first it was kind of hard getting used to it but after a day i'm really digging it so Again, you just basically swipe up, gives you the multi, multi window option. You go home, and if you want to go back, let's go take a look at the multi window option. So, this also changed a little bit, and I do like it better this way with the Pi update. And now it's going to be kind of shows you all the windows vertically as you go. So, if you want to open them, you click on them, you want to go back, or if you just want to close them, you can just push drag them out of there which it was kind of different before you had to kind of go through and it was hard to find what you needed to me with the new pi update this definitely is more user friendly other than that not much change if you go to your app drawer things are still going to be very similar similar functionality if you go back to your home screen when you move around things are going to look very similar if you go to big speed so this is big speed uh, some of the one of the user interfaces uh, it does look a little bit different again i do like the way the shape that they put the cards i don't know i don't know if it's just different but to me it's just easier to find them and be able to know when it starts and when it ends over here it's kind of like everything just got thrown in there and it's just i don't know i'm not really i'm not really digging at the way it was it just a, a huge mess of information just thrown at you at the same time when it comes to the stylus pen uh, there's not gonna be much of a difference again some of the icons are gonna change uh, so far i haven't really noticed much of a or a big difference uh, functionality is gonna be the same uh, if i see anything i'll make sure to let you guys know if i miss something also let us know in the comment section below i'm always sharing the information i read every single comment and again one thing that i mentioned is if you happen to have an issue with an app so for example let's just say just as an example, if you have Instagram and you, every time you try to open it, it's, it's crashing or it's very slow after the update. Uh, one thing that you want to do is 
you can clear the cache on the app so you don't have to uninstall the app and install it again so what you do is you basically you go to the settings go to apps find the app that you are having issues with so for example now we're going to go look for instagram and what you're going to be able to do is you click on a clear the cache and when you go to storage in storage you see the cache and you're going to click on clear cache and what this does is basically deletes all the settings everything that got pre-configured before it will clear it out and next time you open it it's going to allow you to initiate the app as if it was just recently installed so a lot of times some of the settings that you may have before may, may create an issue or create some bug that's going to be impacted by the new os just keep that in mind now if you have issues overall with the phone where your battery is dying really fast if some uh, most of the apps are very slow and overall is slow and having random errors sometimes that happens that something might get corrupted when the update comes so what you want to do is you want to bring the phone back to the manufacturer settings and but just keep that in mind make sure you always back up all your files all your data all your passwords usernames apps everything that you need you're going to have to make sure you back it up because once you format the phone you're going to lose all of that consider subscribing we're always making videos on the galaxy note phones and the galaxy watch don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the content thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one